Today marks day 10 in the ongoing eruption of Mauna Loa on Hawaii Island. Fissure 3 remains active on the northeast rift zone, sending a channel of lava to the north, down the mountain towards the saddle area. The lava that has reached the flat lands has slowed to a crawl over the last few days. The flow front was last measured at about 1.8 miles or 2.9 kilometers from the Daniel K. Anoy Highway. At a significant lava breakout was observed Wednesday, nearly three miles back from the tip of the main flow on the east side. Scientists think this breakout may be removing lava from the channel, helping to slow the advance of the flow front. Scientists have been hard at work above the clouds on the Gargantuan volcano, documenting the lava flowing from Fissure 3. The vent is erupting at an elevation of about 11,500 feet or 3,510 meters above sea level. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has even established a webcam, streaming live video of the eruption over YouTube. The erupted material have already undergone a scientific analysis, revealing that the new lavas are not left over from the 1984 eruption, but represent a new intrusion of magma into the summit and northeast rift zone. Scientists say this is consistent with geophysical signals leading to the eruption. Near the vent, the lava flow velocity within the channel has been measured at 32 to 39 feet, or 10 to 12 meters per second. Farther downslope, where the flow is widening on the flat ground, the front is advancing more slowly, at an average rate slower than 20 feet or 6 meters per hour. Scientists continue to advise that the lava flow advance rates may be highly variable over the coming days. They say it is difficult to estimate when, or even if, the flow will impact the Cross Island Highway. But for now, the eruption poses no threat to Hawaii Island communities. You are a representative state representing Hawaii Island. The Hawaii Army National Guard has been activated and about 20 troops have arrived on the Big Island. So it's still moving slowly. Anybody give me a quick update? Or? Major General Kenneth Hara on Tuesday visited the Hawaii County Civil Defense Emergency Operations Center for an update of conditions on the ground. Yeah. So still no, no anticipation of when it'll inundate EPI? Are you guys kind of Correct. Yeah, there's no update to that. For now, the service members will work with law enforcement to support traffic control near the Daniel K. Inouye Highway. Officials continue to ask the public to stay on the old saddle road when viewing the eruption and to refrain from hiking out to the lava flow. The discovery of an unexploded ordinance away from the road on the military grounds on Sunday was another example of the dangers that are present in the area. Officials say violators will be cited or arrested. Big Island Video News will be following the eruption as it develops, and we will be updating our media channels throughout the day.